Hello, tennis nerds. I'm testing the Blade 98 Pro Stock. Why is this so special? It's an 1819 string pattern, so there's one less cross than you'd imagine from an 1820, which is the most popular string pattern on the Pro Tour, at least for the Blade. There's also the 1619, which will allow you a bit more spin. And you reduce strings, you will have a lower swing weight naturally. This one is a semi high swing weight, 295 unstrung. Uh, plays really solid, quite nice sensation. It should be the K blade mold, so the old K-Factor blade, but this one feels much softer than that bracket. That was a very good one, uh, but it feels softer despite the RA rating on the listings being around 68. And uh, I feel it like it's to be lower at least when you impact the ball, but the power level is very high. Benefit of 1819 pattern is that you get a little bit more lift on the ball, a bit more free power. We have pretty famous players using this string pattern, Daniil Medvedev, Novak Djokovic, to name two. And it's a very good string pattern. And so Seb Korda is allegedly using this Blade Pro stock in this 1819 pattern. Very happy with this racket, really like it a lot. Big thanks to uh, Silver in Brazil for shipping this over for me to test. He will have more Pro stock rackets to buy later on, so I'll keep you posted on this channel. But uh, yeah, a beauty of a racket. A little bit demanding because it is quite heavy to swing, but uh, when you play well with it, it gives you really nice power and a good feel when it's actually striking the ball. A uh, nice pop on serves, nothing outrageous, uh, but kind of reminiscent of blades, a bit more powerful blade style racket. So I really like it and uh, let's get into a bit more detail with some hitting. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis. If we start with the cosmetic, we see here on the left my buddy Jonathan's standard V8 1820 blade that he actually strings as 1819. And I'll get to how that plays in a few seconds. And to the right here, slightly more shiny, it's the glossy Pro Stock 1819 racket with the Luxlon Ocean Blue strings. So it's a difference, it's not a huge difference, but you definitely see the, the more glossy paint on the Pro Stock version and it shines a bit more. On most other pro stocks, this is more evident, uh, but here with the Blade V8, it's already a pretty shiny paint job. And here you have some shades also playing around, but it's, it looks great. Like it's a, it's a beautiful racket and uh, plays beautifully and looks great as well. If we get at some characteristics of the racket, the power level is surprising. It actually gives really good power. Obviously, the swing weight is not very low, so it does feel like a pretty heavy racket. It almost feels like H22 type swing weight, which is a little bit heavier but once you contact the ball properly it uh, sails it off with good control but still that extra power so it has quite of an addictive playability i did find it a little bit sluggish at times when i was playing like uh, points but it did not feel more difficult to use than the regular blade v8 which i'm using here so it's a different generation not sure what's different in the layup with this one without uh, you know being an insider at wilson i can't really know what's what's in this exact pro stock and i can't measure the stiffness rating sadly uh, but uh, yeah felt really great uh, really enjoyed playing with it good feel uh, good control, pretty good power. Here's Jonathan is hitting with my racket, the, the Pro Stock. I'm hitting with his 1819, and uh, I felt like the the Pro Stock was a little bit more solid. But overall, the the 1820 now 1819 V8 is still a great racket, and and it held up pretty well against the the Pro Stock version. So there's no magic in Pro Stocks, in my opinion. But sometimes I know like the the lure of the Pro Stock is, is there. Uh, but I feel like you can play as good of te a tennis match with a retail racket. The cost is usually quite a lot higher for a pro stock racket. I want to give to some praise for the 1819. I think that's a great string pattern in a 98 square inch racket. It uh, gives a little bit more uh, spin potential than the, the 1820. Tad more forgiveness. I mean, these are small margins, but uh, in tennis rackets, obviously grams and all that stuff, they make a difference. And uh, I think removing that cross string uh, is, is opening up the racket a bit more. And 1820 today, especially in a 95 square inch racket, yeah, it, it's so difficult to use and, and creates quite a firm string bed. And I, I feel like 1819, uh, there's a reason we've seen players like Medvedev and Novak, for example, switch to that. We've also seen a lot of like the 6195, 1820 players uh, move over to slightly more open string pattern. We have Chapo as well, like going to 1620 with his V core instead of the, the 1820 that he used for such a long time. Uh, Rublev playing with a gravity instead of the, the 1820, 6195 that he used. So it makes sense that tennis is, is moving in another direction. 
in terms of level for this type of racket, like it's still a control racket. So a 98 square inch racket with a semi dense string pattern, it's gonna give you control. It's not gonna be super easy to use. It's not gonna be super forgiving. Sweet spot, not, uh, not huge here. Uh, so there's a reason like that a 100 square inch racket for most club level players is the way to go because it's it gives you a bit more forgiveness, a bit more power, a bit more spin usually. And uh, that's what most of us need while the 98 is more for players with uh, really advanced games. But definitely a blade for a control racket is still pretty forgiving compared to old school control rackets like Prestigious or these kind of 95 screen rackets that I've talked about before. So uh, it could be worth that if you feel like you have too much power, you, too many shots sail out, then the 98 could be good. And a regular blade a V8 racket works, I would say, as well as a pro stock version. Although it's always fun to try uh, something from the from the pros and what they use and so on. So I, if you like that, I will I will try more pro stocks and and give you more feedback here on this channel. But uh, very good racket and nice to play with. I enjoyed this playtest a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.